More nurses in our state graduate from ECU than from anywhere else. And tonight, East Carolina School of Nursing is making sure its graduates go through state-of-the-art training. WNCT's Zora Stevenson shows us more. It's sort of the same concept of would you want your pilot to fly your airplane without ever having flown one. Are you in pain right now? It's real life scenarios, real tools and skills. It's kind of like you can get all your errors and tweaks before you go. So you can see what, what you're confident with and work on what you're not confident with. So you can have it down pat before you reach that first patient. Every year, dozens of nursing students at ECU participate in simulation labs. Life-size mannequins act as patients. Students are the nurses. Behind the scenes, someone acts as the patient's voice, all while an instructor records the scenario for future review. We would like for them to have plenty of opportunities to practice different things before they actually take care of people. At ECU, there are six simulation labs. Both administrators and students say this type of technology is vital to student success. It allows us to kind of level their experiences so that they get exposure to a lot of things that they might not otherwise get exposure to. It makes me feel so much more confident. I can walk into there, into the hospital room with my patient, let them know they're in great hands. I've done this before. Moving forward, administrators want health majors from all across the university to participate in simulations together. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, nine on your side. The university hopes to add more technology in the future to help students better prepare for the nursing field.